Gabriella, just like you said, Monday starts the second week of uh, the second of the six weeks over at Bryan ISD. And so parents had the chance to switch learning methods. So that means come Monday, a lot of virtual learners will head off and run back to campus and vice versa. But that's not the only th change happening over at Bryan ISD. Starting Monday, all students, whether you're in pre-K or 12th grade, will have to start wearing a mask. When Emily Mayerhoff and her family were deciding how her children would return to learning at Bryan ISD before school started this fall, it was a group discussion. We wanted the girls to decide what type of learning experience they would have this year, and they all decided they wanted to go face to face. And as the family got closer to the second six weeks of school, they again had a conversation on which learning model they would choose going forward. We actually allowed our two high school daughters to stay home and do virtual learning kind of as an experiment. They both liked it, but they preferred staying on campus for face to face learning. While the mayor Hoffs won't be switching learning models for the new six weeks, Many other Bryan ISD students will be. 68% of the district will be learning on campus for the new six weeks. Previously, only 53% were. There will only be 27% learning at home for the next six weeks. That is down from the 42% before. Hybrid learning is also seeing a decrease with only 4% opting for that model compared to the 5% before that. So for us, having these students come back on campus is not going to be that big of an impact because we're already set up with our sneeze guards, with our PPE, with our practices on campus. Those safety practices on campus are also changing a bit. Starting Monday, all students in Bryan ISD will be required to wear masks. Previously, only students in third through 12th grade were required. Now it's being extended all the way to the preschool level. A request came from some parents and some teachers to have everyone wear a mask because it's exposing one or two students in those very lower grades who don't have a mask on. Because so many students in younger grade levels have already proven to have no issues wearing masks, the district says it just makes sense to require it at all ages. So if a mask is not on, it'll be a teaching moment and the teacher will remind the student to please put that mask back on again and why that is is important. As school districts continue to adjust and make changes through this unprecedented time, parents like Mayor Hoff are glad they get to have options for learning and safety remains a priority. My kids actually told me if they had to wear a hazmat suit to go back to campus, they would do so. So the mask is a, a better option than a full hazmat suit. There will be another opportunity for families to change their students' learning model. But that, the dates for those commitment windows have not yet been announced, but Brian ISD says they will communicate that with their parents.